In this video, I'll be working through the question you see on the screen here from the maths paper 1-2 from 2024 Cambridge A-Level exams. If you're looking for a different question from this paper, have a look at the playlist that I've linked in the description below. If you're looking for a different paper entirely, have a search on my channel. I'll be doing all this on the whiteboard, hopefully just like you're used to in the classroom. But remember, we're not in the classroom, we're on YouTube, so take advantage of that. Pause, rewind, even watch it at double speed. If you find this video or any of my videos useful, I would greatly appreciate a like, a subscribe, a share, or even a super thanks. In question one, we have a very common question. We have to do a binomial expansion. They give us two expressions here, one minus four x to the power six, and this one here. And they tell us the coefficient of the x squared part of this one is 12 times the coefficient of the x squared part of this one. So really, obviously we have to find the x squared part of each of these. I'll do um, a lot of the parts of this just to show you what we're doing. So we have a formula to find out every part of this. Um, starting at the beginning, we'd, it'd be something like six. That's from this six here. Six choose zero. And that, that'd be the first term, or often we'd say the zeroth term. And that's uh, one of the powers, uh, we'll go with this one here. You can pick either one you want. I uh, will say one to the power of six and multiplied by minus four x to the power of zero. So that'd be the zero term of this. And that would leave, um, this would turn into a one. So we'd have no x in that. The next one would be six choose one. Uh, six choose zero, by the way, is zero. Sorry, is one. Um, six choose one is six. And uh, I don't know the rest of them off the top of my head. Uh, next number is the first term. Instead of, if we start with six, we go down one, so that's a uh, five. And uh, next term, if we start with zero, we go up one, so that's the power of one. This will give us an x. Still, we're not actually interested in this one. Um, it's the next one we're interested in. Six, choose two, one to the power of four, minus four x to the power of two. And it's okay if you skip straight to this line, uh, as we'll, we'll do on the next one. Um, it's okay if you just know uh, this rule. So it's, if you want the second term, it's or the, the power of two term, because it's really the third term. Um, it's whatever power is here, six, choose whichever one you're looking for, in this case two. It's the other term, the one you're not interested in, it's uh, that to the power of six minus two, uh, or four in this case. And then it's the term you're interested in to the power you want. So that one to the power of two. Uh, and we can clean this up, uh, let me just go to my notes here. 6 choose 2 is 15, uh, 1 to the power of 1 is, 1 to the power of 4 is uh, 1, 4 to the power of 2, or minus 4 to the power of 2 is plus 16, and x to the power of 2 is x squared. Uh, that all cleans up to 240 x squared. Uh, let's do the other one a little quicker, I won't do all the terms, I'll, I'll jump straight to this term. So the x squared term of this, uh, let's put it over here, will it be 5? from this five, choose two, because that's the term we're interested in. And uh, this one, two to the power of uh, five minus two, or three in this case. Um, and the term we're interested in, ax squared. Uh, so we can do that all in one go as well. Uh, that's uh, five choose two is 10. Two to the power of three is eight. A squared is a squared, x squared is x squared. And oh yeah, yeah, clean that up. That's a uh, 80 a squared x squared. So these are the two terms we have, and then we need to remember what they told us. And let me write them both out again. Um, 220 x squared. And I'll put in equals. This is wrong. I'll put in equals, but just for a moment, uh, a squared x squared. They told us that this term is 12 times uh, this term. Um, now lots of students put 12 here. It's, that's just a bit of a, a brain fart, I guess. I think of it in just smaller numbers. Um, um, 12, or let's say 24 is 12 times bigger than two. So 24 is 12 times bigger than two. So if you wanted to put an equals here, you have to put a 12 over this side to make it bigger. So if this is 12 times bigger, I need to put a 12 here if I want to put an equals in. So that's where the equals was coming from. Um, cl clean this up at x squares. We're not. We're only into coefficient, so they cancel. And uh, we can start dividing uh, across uh, eighty. 
80 would uh, divide over here and that goes in three times divide by 12 so we're left with 3 over 12 is equal to a squared or that's uh, what's that 1 over 4 1 over 4 so that means a is equal to plus or minus a half but we have to be careful because uh, you will lose a mark for that yeah they, they tell you in the question a is a positive constant so then you have to one more line a is equal to a half and that's uh, the full marks for part one a very common question so <laughs> make sure you, you you're confident to use these uh, binomial expansion okay if you have any follow-up questions let me know uh, i'll do my best to get back to you thanks for watching and have a great day